We are entering the holiest days of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with, with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, last Thursday, March 25, united with the priests, and the whole faithful of the Diocese of Oakland, Bishop Barbers consecrated the Holy Chrism and blessed the oils for the use in the anointing of the sick and in preparation of catechumens for baptism. Tonight, we receive these holy oils for use in celebrating the Church's sacraments during the coming year. Behold, the oil of the sick, blessed by our Bishop Michael and sent to us for the anointing of all who suffer illness. Thanks be God. to God. Behold, the oil of catechumens, blessed by our Bishop Michael and sent to us for the anointing of our catechumens in preparation for their baptism at the Easter Vigil and throughout the coming year. Thanks be to God. Behold, the sacred chrism, oil mixed with sweet perfume, consecrated by our Bishop Michael, and sent to us for the anointing of the baptized who are to be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, we are gathered here to share in the supper which your only Son left to his church to reveal his love. He gave it to us when he was about to die and commanded us to celebrate it as the new and eternal sacrifice. We pray that in this Eucharist we may find the fullness of love and life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil of every house 
in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord? good he has done for me. The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Our blessing God is a sacrifice of thanksgiving and I will call upon the name of the Lord my vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
Lord is with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of his disciples and dried them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not now understand, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew that who would betray him, for this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. From St. Benedict, Oakland, in behalf of our pastor and the faithful of this beautiful church, I would like to greet you a blessed Thursday evening. I want you to just pause for a while. Let me start this sharing, this reflection with a silence. Paying attention that we are entering into the holiest of days in our Christian faith the evening of Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. Brothers and sisters, this is the hour. 
in the gospel of today, this is what we have been waiting for. As it were, temporality has entered, penetrated eternity. In the early church, this whole event for these three dom is one event, not separated. Pay attention because we will not be ending our Mass today. There will be no end of the Mass. And continues tomorrow until we finally realize the recent Christ coming face to face with Him. I know, brothers and sisters, that some of you are not so sensitive and are not so attracted with rituals. But let me just invite you at this time, let us engage into the ritual that Jesus is doing. We know very well that Passover is a ritual. It is ritualizing the experience of the Israelites wherein God entered into their history and led them out of slavery. That is what we have heard in the first reading of today. And then today, Jesus is reenacting that event it's a common and ordinary rituals for the Jews. And when they were doing it, the Last Supper, the disciples were just so, ah, this is going to be another recollection, memorial of the Passover. But they didn't see, they didn't realize the newness happening in that ritual. When Jesus took the bread and said, this is my body, which will be given up, for you that was a ritual perhaps the disciples were confused what he is he talking about this is not part of the script but they just took it as words of Jesus ah uh, it's just an introduction a creativity in the ritual but when he took the wine again this is my body which is to be shed for you it's the same thing. I can only imagine how confused or entertained perhaps the disciples were for the creativity of Jesus. No one did realize that that ritual that Jesus is doing would be incarnated the following day. On the following day on Good Friday, go back to the experience of the first Good Friday when all of the disciples fled away from Jesus because they were already afraid to be integrated into that mission of Christ. And you can just imagine the only disciple who was there on the Last Supper ritual and at the foot of the cross was John the Beloved, from whom we have heard the narration of the Gospel of the day. And perhaps the most credible of all the disciples to talk about the Eucharist. Because at the foot of the cross, when John the Beloved was witnessing Jesus' body being torn and about to give up. And when John the Beloved had witnessed the blood of Jesus coming out from his side, he must have remembered this is what he was talking about the night before. This is it. This is the hour. So that that experience of the Good Friday, of the actual breaking of the body of Jesus, the actual letting go of his blood, that was the reality that was reinforced for John the Beloved to go back to the experience of the Last Supper. This is it. For Jesus, for John the Beloved, rituals are not empty. And this is what we do today. Don't underestimate the power of rituals, the power of symbols, because in God, we may be ritualizing things, but the rituals will lead us back to reality. That is why for today, we will see a symbol. But this is not an ordinary symbol, a bread and wine. And St. Thomas talks about this, saying that in the Eucharist, 
the sacrament of all the sacraments, the symbol becomes reality. For the bread that we see is not only a symbol of Jesus' body, and the wine that we see is not only a symbol of Jesus' blood, but they are real body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ witnessing in these rituals the coming together of symbols, reality. Brothers and sisters, this is what makes these days holy. When God entered into our script of human history, and in entering to the script of human history, He made our words and stories real. Our symbols are realized. And what we have been hoping for, what we have been experiencing, He brought us back. The brokenness of Jesus made humanity's brokenness whole again. Brothers and sisters, that is why in the second reading of the day, St. Paul was just so convinced, I receive from the Lord, yes, it comes from the Lord, what I handed unto you, what I am giving you, what I am doing to you. And just as we receive this Eucharist, we also receive this washing of the feet, we also receive these rituals, what we receive we are obliged to also share to others. But that flow of grace, receiving and giving, that experience of being loved and to love other people, this is happening in these rituals of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Black Saturday, and then the resurrection of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, Let's not give up on God, for God is doing the greatest miracles in these days. And as we recall these greatest miracles that God is doing to us, initially through rituals, let us pay attention on how much we can participate in this life of God, the symbol and the reality of Christianity. Before coming here, I was listening to an unfortunate story of a relative who was telling me about a piece of land that is causing division between and among the brothers and sisters. And then she was telling me towards the end, in the midst of the frustration, Father, the reason why I'm getting frustrated of this piece of land, small piece of land, is because this is only the memorial, a kind of a souvenir, a kind of remembering our dead mom who worked hard for us. And this piece of land, instead of bringing us together, is breaking us apart. I can only imagine my mom must have been so sorry for what he left, she left us is apparently breaking us up, away. But she made a promise, let this remembrance of my mom, I will work hard in order not to break our family apart, but to bring us together. When I was listening to her story about the memorial of their mom, the piece of land, a symbol of remembering their forefathers, foremothers, their ancestors. Let us look at this greatest treasure of the Eucharist, that Jesus breaking himself, the brokenness of Jesus, is a kind of remembering, memorial, in such a way that every time we gaze on the blessed Eucharist, and every time we receive the body and blood of Christ, we participate in the mission of Christ that people who see those who receive the broken body of Christ may remind them of the communion that Jesus had died for. May we become living rituals 
and reminders that others can see in our actions, in our faces, the God who wants to bring communion to a broken humanity. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are about to ritualize and pay attention to the work of God. The condition of celebrating the Eucharist is humbling ourselves and making others experience being washed, being cleansed through us. Three. 
let us proceed to the general intercessions. The example of Jesus shows us how to serve others in our deeds and in our prayers. That priest, that priest may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to serve God's people in holiness, love, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That nations throughout the earth may renew their commitment to peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who participate in these sacred mysteries will embrace the new commandment and may always strive to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who seek the Easter sacraments during these holiest of days may embrace the cost of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who are nourished at this Eucharistic feast may remember the hungry and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, that they may be with the Lord. And for the intentions of this Mass offered for Father J. Matthews, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. Creator God, source of the bread and wine we offer, hear and grant the prayers we bring to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept Sacri the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of God's name, name for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted a pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat this flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink this blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, and these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her, through the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, the mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ and blessed Joseph, her spouse, you blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protection and help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we... Observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless and acknowledge this offering in every respect. Make this spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body of your most beloved Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, and may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and dressed in the sleep, of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Benedict, our patron, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into your company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, 
with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Being children of our Heavenly Father, with confidence, we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, this is the real body of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we invited to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should enter under our roof, but only say, say the, the word, and my and soul, soul shall, be shall be healed.
can't give to myself. Giving in love in the face of rejection. Take and drink. This is my life. No, it's my pledge now to be with you always. Remember me. in your eyes remember me I put on your ring and give you my lifetime remember me remember me I live in your house I play in your yard. Remember me. I kiss you good night and call you my father. Remember me. Before we end the celebration, but actually I told you there, was there will be no end since it's going to be a kind of a solemn transition to our daily life until we proceed to the Good Friday. I would just like to thank in a very special way for all those who participated in the actual Mass here. And of course, Deacon Ron, thank you very much. Julie, for our lector. And uh, of course, our uh, Romel, our media man. And uh, the music ministry led by uh, Leonard, thank you very much. Yvonne and Margaret uh, Morris, Margaret Moa, and uh, the musician, of course, Clarence and uh, Paul. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, yeah, let us continue to really observe the holiest days of our of our faith.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we receive new life from the supper your Son gave us in this world. May we find full contentment in the meal we hope to share in your eternal kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 There's a voice that cries out in the silence, searching for a heart that will love him, longing for a child that will give him their all, give it all, he wants it all. And there's a voice that cries over the earth, he's searching for a heart that is desperate. Longing for a child that will give him their all, give it all, he wants it all. And he says, love me, love me with your whole heart, he wants it all today. Serve me, serve me with your life now, he wants it all today. Bow down. Let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all. And there's a God that walks over the earth. He's searching for a heart that is desperate. Longing for a child that will give him their all. Give it all. Wants it all, and he says, Love me, love me with your whole heart. He wants it all today. Serve me, serve me with your life now. He wants it all today. Bow down, let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all. All of you, more of you. He wants it all today. Hey, hey. All of you, more of you. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all. There's a voice that cries out in the silence. He's searching for a heart that will love him. Longing for a child that will give him their all. Give it 